work in progress Wednesday. <clears throat> As you guys all know, I am working on this so full time cow. And I am still working on this baby here. I finally got into grew, I guess I should say the first chart. Because this is charted. So <clears throat> telling you guys that I'm fairly new as far as knitting is concerned so things that I was afraid of um, color work working with like two colors at once uh, no and then the charts I would look at the charts and just <laughs> I, well I'm supposed to do that so I saw this pattern I fell in love I'm gonna include some footage from my Ravelry page the project page so you can see what some other people done, um, they basically stuck with the colors project page on Ravelry for um, the So Full Crowd by Amy Kiefer. And here you'll see what some of the other folks are the colors that they chose. I like this pink and brown, the blue and brown. So, <clears throat> just to kind of let you see, this looks like it's gonna be nice, the pink. A lot of people stuck with the exact colors that the uh, design came in. Her colors are nice. Oh, I like how she kind of did like a, um, it kind of gradually changed. That's pretty, I like that. And the pink and the brown. So it's three pages worth of projects. So it's probably 74 projects, it says. That's an interesting color combo. I don't know that I would have chosen that. But I like hers. So just to kind of let you see what some other folks did with it. And I like what she's where she's going with it, the cream and the green, that's going to be pretty. And that's it. So I wanted to show you the project page to show you some of the others. And when I was talking about <clears throat> the what do you look for when you go to a project, right? So here's mine here. So if you go to the project page, I will tell you here that it's a chart, it's done in the round, stripes and color work, and it's a written pattern. All right, do you, does that stuff stop you or does that push you forward? Um, does the number of projects that have been completed, does that drive you? Um, I just know I saw this and I fell in love. I didn't pay attention to the particulars until I actually got the magazine. So I wanted to show you what that looks like and you know what I look at when I decide what patterns I'm going to But I want to go a little different. So I'm getting a lot of compliments from you guys in reference to the colors that I selected. Um, this is Madeline Taj Pashmina and the colorways is citrus and mm, it's kind of gray but it's more in the tannish neutral shade i think the orange is making it come up as a, um, as more of a <clears throat> gray but you guys know i absolutely love orange i can never get enough now what i'm finding interesting this is the inside of the cow. Can you guys see that? And this is where you are carrying your stitches or carrying the yarn. Because another reason why I kind of shied away from color work, because my train of thought was you would have to cut the yarn each time and you would have all those strings inside the weave. Not me, not Harley, not in this life. Mm -mm. So. You know, carrying it along this way is like creating its own little pattern, if you will, inside. So I like that. And this is, it's not bad. Now, 
the last time I updated on the blog, I was complaining about having to switch the balls back and forth to keep them from tangling the two different yarns. But someone showed me a video, Sharon from Knitting Abacus. She she posted a video on my page telling me how to knit two-handed, which means in one hand you throw, which is what I do. How do you knit? Are you a thrower or are you a continental? I'm a thrower. Now, I can knit continental, but what I need, what I'm finding is I need to practice. My continental stitch is so loose in comparison to when I throw. So, trying to switching up midstream and do the two-handed, which definitely keeps the yarn from tangling up, without a doubt. Problem for me is you clearly can see the difference, and I don't know if I can point out to you guys on here. I'm trying to find a place where I did the continental. The stitch is stretched. It doesn't, it's not as even or in sync. I can't find one now just because I want to point it out. But, so I need to practice, I think, with my continental knitting because my gauge, my tension. And I think it's this business, how I hold the yarn, I think. So I need to find a better way. You guys know what I mean? When you wrap, how you wrap it to knit, my tension is off. So if you have any ideas or, or are you, how do you hold, if you're a continental knitter, how do you weave <laughs> your yarn through your fingers to get a good tension here? Because that's what my problem is. My tension is not good, so my stitches are loose and floppy and all over the place, and I don't like that. So I tend to go back to throwing. I know that they say that continental knitting is faster. Um, so that's where I am with this pattern. So I'm going to be starting the second chart um, and hopefully put some more mileage on this. I'm hoping to be done with this by the end of this, well, this Wednesday. I don't know. I'm going to try to put some mileage on it. I'm going to sit down after I finish uploading this video and um, put some more mileage on it. So, what are you guys working on? What, what's on your needles? What's on your hook? What, um, what makes you decide if you're going to use a pattern or not? Are you like me and you tend to stick to your comfort zone? Or do you... Um, challenge yourself like do you try things that are new I can honestly say this is the first time that I'm doing something that's really I was afraid of um so I avoided I I didn't read the pattern before I bought it um because it, the pattern's in a magazine so I didn't um, pay attention getting that too. A lot of people ask me where you get the pattern from. It's in the 2013 Knit Scene Accessories um, magazine. So that's where the pattern is. And I had to print it out so I can mark off the rows as I go. That was making it a little easier too. Because constantly looking back down at the magazine to try to see where I was and what I should be doing was driving me nuts. So that's it for me today. Talk to me, though. Tell me what you're working on, one. Two, tell me, how do you decide what pattern you use? Do you stick to certain attributes of knitting? Does it have to be certain stitches? Does it have to be one piece? That's me. If it says seaming, I run the other way. <laughs> so let me know your thoughts there. How, what is that? How does that work for you? Do you... You know, just you see a pattern, you, it doesn't matter what the knitting techniques are and you go for it, or you look for a particular thing. Like me, you, you guys know I'm a chunky monkey. I guess that's the best way to say it. I love big, thick, chunky, instant gratification. So I look for it. Like I'll go on Ravelry and search by the yarn weight and then look at the pattern. 
So <clears throat> talk to me. How do you do that? How do you search for your pet? Talk to me down in the description box. As always, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and like and tell a friend who's addicted to yarn.